Hey guys, how's it going? This video is on the new moon we have coming up on December 17th, 2017 in Sagittarius. And we also have Mercury, Venus, and Saturn in Sagittarius, as well as the sun and the moon. So there is a lot of fiery, fun, Sagittarian energy going on. Uh, Sag is the truth seeker of the zodiac. And by that, we mean Sag is looking for answers to the questions of existence. Who am I? What created me? Is there a higher power? Is there a method to the madness? And if there is, what is it? So in this quest for truth, Sag is seeking truth through mental expansion, through uh, spirituality, philosophy, as well as literally going to find it, aka foreign travel. So that's why Sag is knowing for, known for being nomadic, etc. Um, and then once Sag finds the information, then they like to share it. <laughs> so that's why Sag is known for being the guru or the teacher. Uh, the, sh the shadow of Sagittarius would be once they find something they believe is true, they tend to cling to it um, pretty strongly and become a little bit dogmatic in their beliefs. So that's one thing to be cautious of during this new moon within yourself and in your actions with other people is, um, you know, make sure if you're driving home a point that you're not, you know, steamrolling someone else or becoming a little bit too dogmatic or rigid in your belief. And if you see that in someone, someone else, maybe have the understanding that that's what's going on. Um, yeah. So a lot of Sagittarius truth seeking energy, um, Sag is freedom loving, they're expans expansive. They're ruled by Jupiter. So they really don't want anything hindering their expansion. They don't like commitment. They don't want to be told what to do. They want to be free to expand, expand, expand consciousness as well as go wherever the hell they want to go. Um, we still have Uranus and Aries. So that's more fire, ton of fire going on during this new moon. Um, then I think the most exciting part of this new moon is that it's at 26 degrees Sagittarius, which is the exact degree of our galactic center. The galactic center is the rotational center of our Milky Way galaxy. So with the moon lined up with this at this degree, this is a direct line or a direct antenna to outside of this galaxy, or this could be called the God voice. It's uh, otherworldly celestial types of channels and frequencies. So if you're already the type of person that is connected to these type of extraterrestrial type of downloads, this is your channel. This is your new moon to tap into this further. Um, at the same time, we have the moon trine Uranus, which is similarly uh, innovative, revolutionary, um, it's rebellion, it's uh, futuristic new thought. Um, so this new moon does have, especially with all the Sag or the Sagittarian expansion, um, I think it's very innovative and it has this kind of ancient future galactic feeling to it. Uh, I think it's an amazing opportunity for the visionaries to receive some downloads potentially from family outside of this galaxy on our future, perhaps coming up with innovative ideas on how to um, come up with some solutions to some of the problems that we're facing collectively on this planet right now. Um, and yeah, with all the Sagittarian energy, I think it's mostly really optimistic, really positive, really playful, social. Um, what else? And then, okay, so we still have Mercury retrograde. That's been super annoying. Um, I don't really like to give Mercury retrograde a whole lot of attention. I like to kind of just pretend that it's not happening. Um, but I, I would, uh, if I could say anything about Mercury retrograde, I would say that I think it is more than anything an amazing opportunity to objectively look at how we handle challenges. Uh, annoying things come up. They force us to alter our route for the day. Um, you know, this Mercury retrograde has just been one moment after another where, you know, something breaks or something goes missing. I lose something. And it's just been a moving meditation on, okay, I'm not going to let that completely derail 
my peace of mind today. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to move forward and just um, confront these challenges with as much grace as we can. Um, and yes, so don't get too annoyed by it if you can. I think that there's a lot of more than anything, just positivity for this new moon. Sag is awesome. Sag is fun. Uh, yeah. So have a galactic new moon and I will see you guys in my next video during the full moon.